All right, so I am back, and today uh, I'm gonna try and keep this as brief as possible. Um, but I've got uh, <laughs> I got the Hasbro set of Stunticons um, the other day. My um, so this is this is the story. Um, my mom apparently was at a thrift store, and she said she saw these guys and decided to pick them up for me. Um, the whole set was $25, um, and it did come with uh, off-road as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much I believe that, because, as you can see, we got a wild rider here. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just go ahead and go with that. Uh, my, my theory is that maybe she just picked something up for me on eBay, because um, she felt bad about the whole situation with the dog. But... Um, so yeah, here they all are in their car modes and we're gonna do a quick comparison with the Takara Versions so that we can everyone can see you know, which one has the better paint apps and and such So so yeah, we're and then and then I'm gonna put the upgrade kit onto this set and then that way we can actually do a side-by-side -side with uh, The Takara in combined mode and this one in combined mode with the upgrade set. So we're gonna start off with Wild Rider um, so here he is, and here is the Takara version. So, you see there, there's some differences going on here. Um, the red paint for the windows is darker. Um, this one's more metallic. Both look pretty cool. I actually think I have to say this, for the windows, this looks better. Um, and they also carried the paint over to the back. Uh, this back window is not as etched in as prominently as the front so it looks a little weird but it works um let's see they got the uh Timograft autobot logo right in the middle there um this one's kind of off to the side because it's got this nice metal like almost like fiber fiberglass roof or hood going on uh they both have the uh, silver headlights this one's a little bit brighter than this one but it works got the black grill there just straight grill there um, and so on this one you got the uh, Takara you got the uh, red stripe that goes all the way through but it misses a spot right there which I thought looked really bad this one's got the red um, swipe going all the way through but it's got uh, this little red piece that carries on up there I think this looks better than this um, I'd rather have a little carryover than a, a missed section uh, tail lights uh, this one's painted this one's not uh, both the wheels are painted and yeah so I'm gonna flip them over to robot mode real quick here I can't pause the camera so <laughs> this is all got to be done in one shot I, I think it makes it seem more real <clears throat> back and there is the Takara one in bot mode Hasbro one this hood piece is getting a little jammed on mine I know it's not I, I, I know it's quality control it's just this one figure because the first one I had didn't do it but you can see some stress marks starting to form there. I'm not too thrilled with that, but. All right, and there's a lot more differences going on here than than the car mode uh you see you know he's got the red shoulders just like him but he's also got red forearms he's got gray so it goes red gray red um this is red red gray red so uh the forearms um his whole forearms are painted red whereas him he's got uh just this one bit painted red i think this actually looks better uh he's got red hands versus gray hands uh, that's a kind of take it or leave it kind of thing um, personal preference there uh, heads paint looks about the same 
Uh, he's got purple detailing inside his chest. He's got little blue strips inside his chest. I prefer the purple because it kind of matches the theme of the Stunticons a little bit better. Um, black combiner port, gray combi combiner port. That one, I think, looks better. Um, fits more with his character. But this one's got more black, like on the crotch and kneecaps. So it works there, too. Um, he's got red thighs, and he's got gray thighs. Um... Yeah, honestly, I have to say, uh, I, I'm sticking to my original decision. Uh, I think the Hasbro one is superior. Um, he has a little bit more color breakup to him, uh, so he's got a little bit more wow factor. I'm sure it's not as G1 accurate as as maybe he is. I, I don't know. I didn't do enough research on what the individual stunt cons looked like. But um, like I said, I, I kind of like the red breakup a lot more on this guy than just the, the gray he, he seems more plain both look great don't get me wrong i just think the hasbro one's just a little bit better in my opinion moving those guys off to the side next up we'll go right to drag strip so so here we got the drag strip and from what a lot of people were saying the black here is supposed to represent wheels so <coughs> Sorry about that. All right. So, so yeah, we got, um, so those are supposed to be wheels. Yeah. Good job, Takara. Those look, those look exactly like wheels to me. Um, so yeah, uh, so he's got the silver seat. He's got more of a black seat. Um, other than that, you know, he's got the two different tones of yellow. He's got the yellow with the, uh, uh, maroon highlights going on there. So I think uh, visually, this one just pops a lot more, I think. You know, and it's not trying to be something that it's not by painting black spots on it to make it look like wheels. So transforming them real quick. And there you go. At least these guys are easy to transform. I'm transforming him real quick. So again, like in the... Um, car mode you know we're looking at um it's mostly just different color breakups um because he's got the um the maroon on him it he, he you know it looks more color coordinated whereas he looks just a lot more bland uh like i said like i said um the, the big difference though is i would say um uh, not just that but the faces um, so he's got this maroon head with red eyes and a blue face, which looks all right. Uh, he's got the yellow head with the maroon f top of the head with some actually bad paint job going on right there. Uh, and a silver face. So if if I were to judge these figures just on their faces, uh, I'd go with Takara because I think the Takara head's uh, paint is just a little bit better. Um, quite frankly, I'd like to take his head off and put it on him. I think that would look pretty good. Um, but yeah, this this guy overall, though, I think, again, is more striking, you know, from a distance. He looks better. So. Uh, take a look at this one next. Um, so, right off the bat, um, we've got some got some things going on here with these guys in the car modes um again their takara's tempo graph logo is more in the middle whereas theirs is more off to the side um but he's got the stripe that he should have oh i always remember dead end with the stripe um he does not um 
the windows are all painted the same. It just, the stripe really, really makes a difference, I think. Um, headlights, his are shinier than his, uh, but pretty close. Both have got the painted grill. His is more gunmetal gray, and this is more just gray. Maybe a little metallic gray, but this is more gunmetal. Uh, I like that better than this. Um, wheels are the same, and he's got this stripe right going on right here. A little carryover there because they just cast the plastic and instead of painting it the red, they just left it. So that while that part, those two parts look bad, I like this color breakup right here. And the tail lights, uh, he's got the car's got the tail lights. He does not. So let's get him in robot mode real quick. I don't understand the ratcheted hands. Let's see, we're at 11 minutes so far. So, what do we got going on here? Uh, so, what we got here, we've got... Uh, yeah, this is this one's hard to call. Um, this one's got more color breakup. Because um, he's got... Well, actually... Yeah, uh, I'd say they're about the same. Because he's got the... Um, the red uh, on the chest and shoulders and stuff like that whereas he's got more gray but he's got different colors of gray going on um, so he's got these nice gold bits down here um, these nice um, almost metallic silver parts um, whereas he's just got kind of more of the bland gray um, his chest is the lighter gray with the um, silver on the inside uh, his is the the uh, the red with the uh, eh, it's a it's a darker silver but it's still silver um, he's got face sculpt wise come on um, there he's got silver with brighter purple eyes and the gold mouth he's got brighter silver and slightly less vibrant eyes and the gold mouth um, so yeah, um, well originally I said I think this one's better. I have to say I think they're about equal on this one. I think these guys are both pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. I, I like them. I like these guys a lot. Um, the, these guys are the best ones out of the set. So, all right, let's go to the next one. All right, so. I don't know how well you can see this, but they're pretty close being the same white. This one's got, like, is a little dirtier, uh, almost. This one's a little bit more vibrant. Um, over here we've got uh, Septicon logo on the door there. Um, they both got the blue stripe, and this is one of the things I complained about, was that this one just kind of stopped painting right there to carry the blue stripe over this one painted it but it also painted this section up there or no that's just molded plastic so it's got the molded blue plastic which this doesn't look bad um i prefer this over this any day of the week on the back we got the painted tail lights here um another decepticon logo there um he's got the decepticon logo down near the front he's got it more up 
the top, both silver lights, both red hoods. Um, big difference though is he's got the uh, racing sticker going across his window. He does not. So, all in all, uh, pretty comparable to one another, I'd say. Uh, let's get him into robot mode here. This Hasbro Takara. So far, yeah, like I said, the car modes I'd say are probably about equal to one another. Let's see how the bot modes pan out. And originally, I said I thought the uh, Takara one was better. Than the Hasbro one. Let's see if that still holds true. All right, so there we go. Um, so yeah, uh, I can almost guarantee you that Takara one's better in almost all aspects except for one. Uh, so he's got the nice silver chest, silver vents, Decepticon logos going on there and there. Um, the He's got a purple combiner port you can kind of see back there. He's got blue. That's better. Um, he's got... Um, this is all that white. Uh, looks like it's painted on. This is silver. Um, so that's kind of a personal preference. He's got a blue crotch. He's got a white cr crotch. So it kind of doesn't break up as much as he does. Um, he's got blue forearms here. He's got the white forearms. So, yeah, or elbows. So it's kind of a hit or miss there. Uh, he's got just overall more white on him than he does. Uh, and I think in this case, it's like, this is enough color breakup. This is more like a blue car with white, you know, w blue on the inside, white on the outside. Uh, so he's got uh, silver on the shins here and just blue feet. Whereas he's got blue shins with silver on the feet. Um, but, uh, oh, uh, white hands, blue hands. So, you know, they, they've got a good breakup of colors, both of them. But this one, like I said, just a little bit too blue. Um, for me, though, it's the head sculpts that are the big difference here. Because um, his just pops so much more than his does. Um, I mean, they both look good, but it's just this one just has more definition, thing, I think. Um, like it. That maybe they put too much paint on there and covered up some of the detail. Um, whereas he's got that perfect amount where it's just kind of, you can see everything. So, so yeah, I, I, I give it to, uh, I give it to the Takara. And now let's get to Motor Master. Not looking at the weapons because those, those are all pretty identical. Um, so here's Motor Master. Uh, he's... He is, I had my issues with his um, transformation. His, his is much better. Much better design there. Um, or quality control, I guess. Uh, so he's mostly gray, and he's more black with the gunmetal gray. So it's kind of preference on that part. Um, he's got the windows going on. Like I said, I think those are stickers, but the painted windows. Uh, he, he doesn't have that, um, which is a shame. Um, he's got some purple stripes here, which is, which is really a shame because it's like, okay, he's got these purple stripes. Why couldn't they use that purple paint on the windows? Um, painted on wheels or painted on hubcaps. He does not, um, silver going on here. This is all just black with a Decepticon logo there. 
On the back here, we've got uh, the silver carries over. You can see blue, purple strips going on here. Decepticon logo there. Again, the same grays replaced with gunmetal here. Uh, the black is replaced with the lighter gunmetal um, for the feet. Uh, same thing on this side as we just saw before. And then the front, we've got um, headlights are painted on both. Um, this one's just a little bit more vibrant. Uh, this one's got silver going on down here, breaking up that bumper. And the grill, of course, they're both silver. And they both have the tiny Decepticon logos. Uh, he's got more of a vibrant purple, whereas his, his is lighter. So, uh, But he does hold together better than he does. So, transforming them real quick. Sorry, I'm not showing the transformation, but we've already done this a few times. I keep trying to open that. Now we got them in the robot mode. Now, I guess um, what it really boils down to is when it comes to these colors, because they are so different from one another, um, is how you imagine your Motor Master. Because I did look him up on TF Wiki last night. And if you like the cab being closer to a black, then united or the unite warriors the takara version is the better version for you if you like yours to be more g1 accurate overall then hasbro is actually the better version because and before you guys start throwing a fit here um let me explain <laughs> the cab of motor master was black the trailer was all gray so when he transformed the original g1 the trailer turned into part of his robot mode um so when he turned into robot mode he was mostly that gray because of the trailer he had black chest and some back, black pieces on the legs um which is what he has whereas he's more like if you just forget the, that you had the trailer and you just went with the cab he's more accurate for just being a cab transformer um almost like a nemesis prime type colors But not quite. Um, so, but yeah. Uh, other than that, let's get get on with this. Um, so he's got the, the gray helmet with the black head. Purple face. His is all gray. A uh, little shinier gray for the helmet. Or inside the square head. And both have the purple face. Uh, he's got... Like, black eyes. Kind of soulless there. And he's got the red eyes. Well, a red eye, I guess. No, they're red eyes. They're just not coming off on the camera very well. There we go. Um, so there's that. Um, they both have the, um, the gray piece here for the head, where the head attaches to. Um, his is actually darker than his. Um, and like I said in his review, uh, that really is kind of hideous having that stand out so much um, this fits in the plastic the rest of the plastic that's that it's around um, so he's got gunmetal gray uh, chest here he's got straight black both have the purple thing there but he's got the big Decepticon symbol right in the middle of his chest whereas his is over here on his arm 
Um, he's got gunmetal gray with some lighter gray accents going on throughout his his abs. He's got the, the lighter gray with purple accents. Black crotch, black hips, gunmetal, gunmetal, and lighter gunmetal. Um, lighter gray for the legs, darker gray for the legs here. Same, uh, similar purple highlighting going on. Black feet, gunmetal feet. Um, of course, he's got the hip fix, he does not. Uh, and then, of course, the arms, which are a major difference here. Uh, so he's he's got silver from the shoulder, forearm, and, or elbow, and forearm with gray hands. He's got the gray hands that actually match the color, which is nice. But he doesn't have that silver there or there. Um, he just has it right there. So, again, I, I do think this one's a little bit of a superior version um, overall. So... Uh, I, I, I like this one better. This one's more, it, like I said, it, it depends on the way you look at it. Um, this one's more G1 accurate for the whole figure, whereas this one would be more like just the cab. Um, but it, I, I, I can't sit here and say he doesn't look good. He, he does look look much better. Uh, but they're both pretty uh, pretty comparable. They're both pretty good figures there. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm going to... I'm actually going to pause these and get them into combined mode, and we'll just do comparison once we get them into combined modes.